Yes, hello my fellow YouTubers, this is Dr. Dragunov again. <clears throat> I'm going to take you through the steps of changing the Vanos solenoids on uh, E38 M62 TU, it's a 1999 year model. Uh, I'm just going to show you where they're located. There's one, and you got one on the other bank, it's right, oops, right there. So this car has some 300,000 kilometers on the meter and I was experiencing a rough idle, also like a growling noise, uh, typically uh, in my case on the, the left bank I think it is, uh, sluggish acceleration, uh, rough idle, uh, when you were coasting uh, the uh, RPMs would just change without the gears changing really strange um so what they and and uh, i recently uh, did a full service oil, oil service on the engine uh, and that's when the uh the venos solenoids gave up on me i don't know if it depends on the oil change or not or just the overall mileage on the vehicle but, but still <clears throat> so uh, it takes a little bit of you, you take the like the air duct off and, and uh, the air filter just to to get clearance uh, and i'll just show you here on the one that i started on it's right there it's held down with a bracket two 10 millimeters uh one on the top and one at the bottom and then you just wiggle it off and then to release the uh, solenoid itself uh, I would strongly suggest that you buy a tool off the internet, a socket, 32 millimeter socket and a half inch fitting on the other end. Because as you can see, it's kind of, let's see here, can I do this? There we go. It's kind of seated inside the heads. So there's no, uh, there is probably is a way, but get one of those sockets. It's uh, like a 30, no, yeah, it's like a $30 socket. And then you just, it makes your life so much easier. First of all, to remove it and then to install the new ones. I did try with a wrench on the solenoid itself, but it just, it just is spinning. And then when you uh, put the new one back in, you have, you just don't get the, the, the socket for it. It's a special socket. Uh, $30 off eBay uh, and um, uh, so and then uh, yeah I'm probably not gonna be changes changing the solenoids on this car anytime soon or at least as long as I own it so I put it up for sale on eBay and I actually got $35 back so I just made like five bucks uh, and made my my life so much easier here so this is the Venus solen solenoid uh, this part here goes into the engine and this is the solenoid itself it's a 32 millimeter you have to have like the a, a socket that is made for the purpose don't try to fiddle around with it just get the socket makes you makes the work so much easier and let's show you on this side here. There we go. And there's a small clip right there. You just pull it out and you pull the plug off. And then you put, take the, uh, the bracket off, two, two 10 millimeter bolts, and just wiggle it off. Do some WD-40 and wiggle it off. And then you put the socket on uh, lefty loosey, righty tidy, um, and install the new one. Pull back. There we go. Um, put everything connected, um, and and put uh, install all the uh, like the air duct and everything, and you'll be good to go. 
So, actually, what I thought from the beginning was that the uh, the cam chain tensioners were gone, but since I had the uh, oil pan off and there was really nothing there uh, from the uh, plastic uh, guiders, I'm pretty sure that this was the problem. So, just installing those. Uh, I would say also like my, my, my trusted source of, of, of buying parts uh, is in Germany. If you buy those uh, from BMW, let's see here, these parts from BMW, they are an easy four five hundred dollars there's no need. Uh, you buy them from uh, aftermarket and these, you, you, of course you change both of them, right? Uh, and these two cost me um, what be the equivalent of like 55 bucks including shipping so there's money to be saved so that's just a tip yeah and uh, also a tip is that uh, do this uh, when the car then the engine is cold because you see here the, the holes here that's uh, for pressurizing the uh, Venus uh, drive so if the, the engine is hot there might be uh, oil and stuff coming out of the uh, when you take the old, old ones off uh, and it's just gonna be a mess so do it when the engine is cold it's like a two-hour job install them plug it in uh, start the engine and just let it run for a while and you will experience that the uh, the noise, this, this 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 engine made a terrible noise. It almost sounded like a diesel, and the uh, the noise was coming mainly from from the left bank. Uh, so so um, and that's due to that the uh, the sol the the old ones the old solenoids were gone, so they didn't pull uh, for for the ignition to adjust for RPMs. Uh, it's it's. It sounded terrible. I was on the brink of saying, if it's not the solenoids, I have to scrap this car because there's, if there's anything else, just there's no use in uh, changing the motor or something like this or going even deeper into the engine because um, it's just a hassle and it's so expensive. Uh, so uh, after changing, the the engine is now running perfect again. Uh, I would, I would. Just, I would say that within the 200 or 300,000 kilometer mark, uh, these solenoids would probably be uh, at the end of their life anyway. So, um, if you have like misfiring or if it if it's sluggish and the engine is like you have the uh, the idle is is rough and it makes a growling noise, uh, all kinds of strange things happen, happening to you. The engine loses power uh, and it sounds like a diesel. Uh, a sure bet would be the Venus solenoids. So that's, that's, that would be my recommendation. So now it's running again perfectly. Uh, I had another maybe 100 to 200,000 kilometers on this before I need to let it go. So if this helped you any, uh, please press like uh, I hope it did, uh, and please enjoy all my other videos on my E38, uh, and uh, I wish you a pleasant afternoon, and enjoy the uh, excellence of BMW. Thank you so much, take care, bye bye.